a sneak peek into the engineering marvel that is indigenous aircraft carrier 1, which will be called INS Vikrant once it enters service with the Indian Navy about a year from now, started one of the last phases of sea trials on August 4, 2021. This is the first aircraft carrier designed and built in India. The total cost of the project was approximately 23,000 crore Indian rupees, 3.2 billion United States dollars, at the time of first sea trials. She will be India's second aircraft carrier joining the Russian-built INS Vikramadhithya. Designed by Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design, and built at Cochin Shipyard Limited, the advanced ship is also the first attempt by the two entities to build an aircraft carrier from the ground up. INS Vikranth is the largest and most complex ship ever to be designed and built in India. With the construction of INS Vikranth, India has joined a select group of nations with the capability to indigenously design and build an aircraft carrier. INS Vikranth, a majestic class 19,500-ton warship, was the name of India's much-loved first aircraft carrier, a source of immense national pride over several decades of service before it was decommissioned in 1997. India acquired the Vikranth from the United Kingdom in 1961, and the carrier played a stellar role in the 1971 war with Pakistan that led to the birth of Bangladesh. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said in a tweet, Maiden sea sortie of indigenous aircraft carrier, Vikranth, is a true testimony to our unwavering commitment to Athmanurbhartha in defense. Realization of this historic milestone, regardless of COVID, shows true dedication and commitment of all stakeholders. A proud moment for India. Vikranth is 262 meters long, 62 meters wide, and 59 meters high, including the superstructure. According to statistics provided by the Ministry of Defense, there are a total of 14 decks, plus 5 in the superstructure, aboard the ship. The warship, which will host MiG-29K fighter jets, Kamov-31 helicopters, MH-60R multirole helicopters, more than 2,300 compartments are available on board Vikrant to accommodate its crew of around 1,700 persons, including specialized quarters for female officers. The ship has been designed with a very high degree of automation for machinery operation, ship navigation and survivability. Vikranth has a top speed of around 28 knots and cruising speed of 18 knots with an endurance of about 7,500 nautical miles. The ship can accommodate an assortment of fixed wing and rotary aircraft. As part of basin trials on November 20th, the ship completed tests to ensure that its propulsion and power generation systems were ready. However, despite the fact that the start of sea trials was postponed, those who worked on Vikrant did their best to get it ready for sea trials. According to the Ministry of Defense, the construction of INS Vikranth created jobs for 2,000 CSL personnel and about 12,000 employees in ancillary industries, Beyond the operations of CSL and their subcontractors, over 76% of equipment purchases are made using indigenous content. This includes 23,000 tons of steel, 2,500 kilometers of electric cables, 150 kilometers of pipes, and 2,000 valves, and a wide range of finished products including rigid hull boats, galley equipment, air conditioning and refrigeration plants, and steering gear. The Indian Navy's shipbuilding program involves 44 other ships and submarines on order being built indigenously.